Welcome to another edition of OptumX's Tech Talk. My name is Marky e. Jackson, Director of Open Source Software at OptumX. In these series, I like to give quick insights into Spinnaker. In this Tech Talk, I will be showing you how to build your first pipeline that deploys to a Kubernetes cluster. Let's first have a recap of what a pipeline is in Spinnaker. Pipelines are a way of managing deployments in a consistent, repeatable, and safe way. A pipeline is a sequence of stages provided by Spinnaker ranging from functions that manipulate infrastructure, like deploy, resize, or disable, as well as a utility scaffolding function like manual judgment, wait, run Jenkins job. These together precisely define your runbook for managing your deployments. A few requirements before we get started. You must have a working Kubernetes cluster, and you must have open source Spinnaker installed with all of the services. Let's get started, shall we? Let's go ahead and log into the UI, select Applications, go choose Actions and Create Application. For this, I'm going to name my application Tech Talk. Go ahead and enter in your email address in the Owners field. And then go ahead and click Create. We can see that is now created. Let's go ahead and select our Tech Talk application. Choose the tab Load Balancer. On the right, Create Load Balancer. The account will be Spinnaker, and we'll paste in our manifest YAML. We can then choose Create. We are now presented with a screen that shows deploying of our manifest. A green check is indicating that that has succeeded. Once we have full green checks, we can then choose close and we will see the success. Let's go ahead and select our Tech Talk application, choose pipeline, configure new pipeline. We're going to call this deploy application. Go ahead and click create. We're going to give it a parameter. We're going to call this tag. We're going to select required, pin parameter, we're going to give it the default value of Monday. We will add a stage. We're going to select deploy manifest and then change that name to deploy dev. We'll select our account Spinnaker. We'll override the namespace and choose our new dev namespace. We'll paste our YAML. We can then go ahead and hit Create, and we'll see the pipeline here. We're going to go ahead and manually trigger by selecting the deploy application that we created and hit Run. This will start off the job. We can see it's running. By clicking on this, we can get some more information, such as the deploy status, task status, and artifact status. If we go back to deploy status, you can click on details. This will give you a lot more information about what you are deploying to the cluster. Refreshing will show that it's now there. And we can see that this is in fact sent three replica, a replica count of three, and our deployment was successful. Let's go ahead and validate that it was. And you can see, Hello Monday. If you'd like to get in contact with me, you can at GitHub at Marky Jackson Talia or via Twitter at Marky Jackson 5 or via LinkedIn at Marky Jackson.